Hello, everyone. I'm Lisa. Today is a lovely day, but it's still hot. One day, I saw a couple. They are arguing on the street. The man was shouting. So today, I want to talk about、uh, three things you shouldn't do in marriage. This is only my opinion. First, don't mention divorce、uh, casually when people are arguing. Or angry, don't say the word divorced casually. Say it too much will hurt the marriage. The second one, don't belt your partner. For example, don't say you are a loser, or don't say that you can't do anything well. So, what is the point of being together? But. It's okay to call each other of stupid dumbass as a joke. My husband often call me a dumbass. I say that his head was kicked by a donkey, or his head was squeezed by the door. That all means he's stupid. It's okay to joke, but saying useless thing about your partner will hurt. Self esteem, esteem, esteem. It is a kind of harm to both men and women, and they will remember it for lifetime. Third, don't compare your partner with others. For example, don't think that others are more handsome or beautiful than your partner, or that others are better than your partner, or. Think that other people's partner have better jobs and make more money, and don't always compare your partner's shortcomings with others' stains. This will make your marriage unhappy. On the contrary, I think you should use a magnifying glass to see your partner's stains and a microscope. To see your partner's shortcomings, and you will be happier. Third, don't see. Look at how other men treat their wives. That means you think your husband is not as good as other men. Or you see, look at how gentle other people's wives are, which means your wife is not as good as other women. This will hurt your marriage. Learn to appreciate your partner instead of being picky, because the problem of marriage is never a problem of one person, but a problem of each other. My advice is to praise your partner more when your wife cooks a good meal. In addition to thank you her, you should also praise the food of being delicious. When your husband does something well, you should also give him praise and recognize him. No matter how old a man is, he is still like a boy and need to be praised. It doesn't mean that men don't need praise when they grow up. Everyone needs encouragement and praise, especially when your partner wants to do something for you. You must give support and encouragement. For example. My husband tried to make me a cup of iced coffee. He did it with his heart. So I would thank him and say that it was the best coffee in the world, because it was made with love. Marriage requires mutual respect. Understanding and tolerance, and it is important to. Appreciate each other. This is just my opinion. I with my husband for twenty years, so we usually never argue each other. So difficult to angry with him because the culture different. So if I'm angry. He doesn't know why I'm angry. I just oh so. 
I don't want to he guess what happened. So I just stand in front of him. I say, look at me. I show my face to him, and then he know he knows I'm angry. Then he just say, okay, and make me happy. Then finish. I always angry or maybe just five minutes. Especially if I'm really angry, I just like this, and he is not angry. He think I'm much cute, so it's difficult to angry with him. So that's I think is sometimes uh, marriage different countries persons. This very good. That's a, a culture different. So like、uh, when I see some、uh, bad language, I told my husband、uh, he feel it different. Like、uh, I said, donkey face. Uh, or your brain is、uh, squeezed, squeezed by the door. That's、uh, in Chinese. It means your brain is、uh, the door squeezed. Your brain, your stupid means. <laughs> He feel so funny. Do you know? He think is funny. But for Chinese people, they they will angry. So that's different. Anyway, so have a good day. See you next time.